In this video, we will look at how to go from this standard starting grid to this report with fully customised layout and formatting by using Fluence Excel formula. The report uses our sample data connection to the Fluence consolidation model. It's easiest to set up your grid first and then convert it to a formula report. So I shall first create the grid, making a couple selections for the filters and columns. I have nested the scenario within the monthly and year to date figures so I can see my actual and budget figures for each time slice. I shall then choose the accounts to display on rows. I want to see my net income and what makes it up. I could select the net income and the relevant accounts by hand, but for speed, I will now use a pre saved list. To convert the grid, we right click on it, select Fluence Excel and then convert to, and finally, formula. You'll be asked for confirmation before it's converted. Using F2 on a particular cell shows the cells that are referenced. The first parameter is the connection ID, which ties back to that connection screen. After that, the parameters are a series of paired arguments listed in the hierarchy and the member to retrieve for that hierarchy. If we right click on a cell, select Fluence Excel and edit Excel 3 lookup, it will show the formula and what is being referenced in one of our dialog boxes. These can be manually set or can pick up directly from an Excel range. With formula reports, you'll have complete control over the layout of the report, so we can insert some columns in between my monthly and year to date views to make space for calculations. Even though the report has been broken up, it still maintains the data connection. We can now change the report selection by editing a member lookup on our filters. So I can double click on New York and change the selection to Los Angeles and you'll see all figures change, even the year to date figures which we moved away from the main area of the report. The report is now made up of simple Excel cells, so I can easily add in normal Excel calculations to calculate the variance both in values and percentage. I can then move those values as I would any other Excel formula and copy them over for my year to date numbers. Formula reports are formatted using standard Excel controls, so I can change the fill, the font and the number format as desired. I can also reposition the columns as I like. I will go ahead and do this as well as change the formatting. I now have a highly formatted butterfly report showing both monthly and year to date numbers. Despite being highly formatted, the report is still interactive and I can drill down into an account if I want to by double clicking on it. I can double click again to undrill the account. Formula reports can be easily replicated to produce workbooks containing your results by using the propagate across sheet function. This allows me to set different filter values and create a report with each selection I want on a different sheet. This is very useful to quickly share results with region controllers, for example. So here I can create a new workbook for all of my USA entities. If I want to see the different results on the same sheet, I could use the edit member capability or to make the report more interactive, I can create a slicer that outputs its selection as seen in the previous videos and then use that output to drive my formula reports. We can then repeat the process for different filters we want. Formula reports allow you to be extremely flexible with your reporting while still remaining simple and straightforward. I can set the slicers to appear over the cells containing the values that drive my formula. We can then add our title and logo we have now recreated the highly formatted butterfly report that we had at the start from a simple grid using easy and well-known Excel controls.